Hello, welcome to episode two of the Meltran Designs Knitting Corner. I'm Melissa, your host, also known as Anansi on Ravelry, and on Plurk and Twitter, it's Meltran Designs. There's also a Meltran Designs group on Ravelry, and you can check out my website at meltrandesigns.com. I wanted to start out by saying thank you to everyone who watched my very first episode last week, and if you're a second time viewer, welcome back. If this is your first episode, welcome and thank you for taking your time to sit with me for a while. Today is Monday, December 17th, 2012, and let's get right into things. Happenings this week. What has gone on? First of all, we have been the happy recipients of an anonymous 12 Days of Christmas uh, set of gifts from, from some people that that have a great sense of humor and we are having a lot of fun. It's not the real things from the 12 days of Christmas because that would cost a lot of money and I don't want all this, those things, but it was things like on the first day of Christmas the the card said on the first day of Christmas you know you get a, a partridge in a pear tree but I don't have a partridge and I don't have a tree so enjoy these pears and it was a can of pears um, instead of two turtle doves it was a box of turtle candies and a bag of Dove chocolate. So you get the idea. It's been a lot of fun and every day the bag that the items come in also has a little ornament that has the, the day number with the picture of what the item is. So at the end of this we'll have 12 new ornaments and lots of fun things that we have been brought and lots of candy that I would like to hoard but the calories start speaking to me saying you don't want us in your body. The chocolate says yes you do, but the calories say no you don't. So I've been sharing the turtles even though they're my favorite. <laughs> so anyways, it's been a lot of fun and the kids look forward to hearing that knock on the door every night. So anyways, that's that's great. Also, I hit 10 miles of yarn knit this year, this week. I posted my last two or my most recent finished objects and that put me well over the 17,600 yards that I needed to hit 10 miles. I'm actually over 18,000 and have a few things still that will be able to be added before midnight next Monday night. My plan is next Monday to go through and find anything that's being worked on and I will weigh all of those things and use or count all of those yards because even if the object wasn't finished it's still yarn that I knit this year and it's things that will be finished so we'll see what the grand total is next week. I'll, what I'll probably do is add it all up before I record again next Monday so you can see the final the final total which will be a lot of fun to find out. Uh, the last thing that I wanted to talk about that happened this week was that I released my Dierste shawl pattern, which I will talk about later and show you the shawl and talk a little bit more about that. But that was really exciting, and there's been a good response from people. I've I've had quite a few people favorite it, and I did have some sales the first couple of days, and and people have been posting about it in different forms, forums, and and things like that. So that's been really exciting. But like I said, I'll talk about that a little bit later. So on to what is on the needles. That is also going to coincide with Design Corner today because I really only have one thing on the needles that I did not design and the rest of it, it pertains to designing. So those will, those will be together. The first thing I have on the needles is the Christmas socks that I'm making for Anansi. The first one is done nice and long. It looks extra long too because it's a tube sock and so there's no heel to break up where you know where the foot is. It, it essentially is like this. <laughs> it should go pretty far up her leg. In fact it, it should be really close to a knee high on her. She's only nine so this this should be pretty close to being a knee high. This little paper here tells me is reminding me how many rows I need to knit between the cuff and where I started the toe decreases. So just Plain stockinette, nothing fancy. The yarn does does all the patterning. So that's the first one. The second one, you can see, I have, I'm guessing about 50 rows done. The other day, well, before church yesterday, I had about 30. And I'm guessing I, yeah, I probably did about 20 yesterday between church and home. So the other, the other night, we went to dinner 
we had dinner, I should say, with all of Jake's brothers and sisters, no grandkids, just the siblings and his parents, which was a lot of fun. And I, I was able to knit 30 rows while we sat and talked. So I'm not concerned about this getting finished by next week. It's really easy and it's something that I can do, you know, without thinking about it and without looking at it. So that'll be finishing off the needles. The yarn is the Regia Galaxy in the Jupiter colorway. And I'm going to be able to, or, well, I'm not, I, I decided to start the second sock with, with the new skein of yarn just so that way I wouldn't have to add in, you know, have an end unnecessarily. So I am using a second ball. These are 50 gram skeins. So there you go. The next thing that's on the needles is my Elise sweater, which is the sweater that I designed that I was waiting for the yarn for last week. The yarn is Briar Rose and it's the Abundance Base. Um, you might have remember you might remember that I talked about it last week and showed you the sample that I had knit up that she sent me and I talked about the yarn and things like that. Um, the yarn that she sent me is that she died and that, that I got for the sweater is not this yarn. She, I messaged her and told her that the yarn that I received is not this and she said that it she must have accidentally sent me some very old abundance base which to be honest I was pretty disappointed about because I, I loved this. I love how squishy it is and how large it is and the twist in the yarn, but I do love the yarn that I received. I love the color. Um, it really, it looks like any other worsted weight yarn with the twist and things like that, but I do love the color and it's knitting up very nicely. I'll show you the color first. Here's the first two balls. I ordered four. Let's see. That's pretty true to, true to color. It's a medium gray and there are, you know, there are light spots and dark spots. Let's, oh, no, that's not going to work. Sorry, the light's up there. Anyway, there's light and dark mixed in. Eli, you need to be quiet, please. So I'm alternating between the two skeins as I knit, so that way there's no pooling and no obvious you know, line where I change the skeins. So far, this is the back. I have I have the seed stitch border, and then I have this a few rows of the stockinette done. I wanted a nice thick border and so this is it's just a touch over two inches I was going for for right at two but had to knit back across so it ended up being just a smidge over over two inches but I love how nice and thick that is I love the stitch definition and I think it's going to be a beautiful beautiful sweater so that is on size US 6 4.0 millimeter needles and my sock, that was on size 1, 2.25 millimeter needles. I forgot to, to tell you about that. Sorry. All right. The next two things that are on the needles slash design corner are not on the needles yet, but they're going to be. One is a pair of fingerless gloves that I'm really trying to design, and I had an idea that was going to be great. It, not so great. Didn't work out. Tried another idea. That didn't work either. So I've just thrown that whole idea away. Then another idea popped into my head. So I'm going to go with that one. And the cabling that I was going to use with, the, with that very first idea that didn't work that I thought was going to be so wonderful actually threw itself into a pair of socks that, that I think will look awesome. I thought the fingerless gloves would look awesome too, and that didn't work. So... We will see. The yarn I'm going to be using for the socks is going to be a self-striping yarn from Twisted Limon. Twisted Limonade? Twisted Limon. I think it's Twisted Limon yarn. She's out of the UK. Hard to get her stuff. Her updates sell out immediately, but I was able to, to grab one skein in one update at the end of last year. <clears throat> Excuse me. And... Um, it's it's going to be a lot of fun to see to see how it knits up and it, it should work. You'll see next week 
if it, if it works or not. If it's not on the needles, that means it didn't work and I'll talk about it. So anyways, I do have those two things that will be coming soon. And like I said, that that's how it kind of crosses into Design Corner. I have, you can tell, here's my, whoa. Okay, this is a really, really red. It's looking very orange. What if I shade it? It's looking very, very orange on your screen, but it's... Well, that's a little bit better. It's very, very true red. Just a, a beautiful, vibrant red. And this is what the fingerless gloves will be out of. I will make some. I don't know what. Even if this design doesn't work, another one will. So this design, this yarn will not conquer me. <laughs> it's not cursed. So look forward to that coming. All right, moving on to FOs. I have four of them. The first one is my dad's Christmas scarf. This is the his birthday scarf pattern. It's a free one on Ravelry. This is made out of Barocco Vintage, the worsted weight, in the chocolate color. Here's the. It is 217 yards, and it is acrylic, wool, and nylon. It's very squishy, very soft, machine washable. It's a great yarn for gift giving because the person doesn't have to worry about hand washing it if if they don't want to. So I still haven't soaked it and blocked it yet. I'm going to be gone this week on Thursday and Friday to be delivering flowers. A friend of mine owns a floral shop and pays per delivery in cash. So a couple times a year I help her with that and that'll be Thursday and Friday. So my plan is since the dogs will be outside all day and Eli and I will be gone that I can lay it out across the kitchen floor, or, you know, on the kitchen floor on the blocking mat and have it dry while we're gone. So that'll be blocked next week. I will, I'll be able to show it to you because I won't be giving it obviously to my dad until next Tuesday on Christmas. So there's that one. The next thing I have finished is my wood burn cardigan. You can see here, here's the, I want to show you the buttons a little bit closer than I did last week. See how well they match with the with the cabling. I love how it turned out. Here's the cabling in the arms. I did when I blocked it, I did pin the arms out so that it would really open these up because they were really, I don't know if you remember last week, they were just completely sucked in. So that blocked out very nicely. It has the the cable comes up the saddle shoulder and let's see if I can move my hair out of the way. The cabling wraps around the neck as well. I'll turn around here. I'll show you the back. It fits pretty well. It ended up being a little loose here. Part of that I think is because I was at a little bit bigger than gauge because I I couldn't go down to gauge and and so instead compensated for that by making the smaller size. But I'm also very short and I, I think part of why that is so big is actually just because I'm short even though I tried to accommodate for that. It's fine, it's comfortable, it, it fits well other than that, and I really enjoy it, and it keeps me warm. So there's that, I knit that out of, oh that was, again, Woodburn Cardigan by Carol Feller. I knit it on size six, 4.0 millimeter needles with the Oasis Yarns Aussie Wool, which is 100% Australian wool, 200 yards per skein, and I ended up using 1,209 yards. So I had to order another skein of yarn for nine yards. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of funny, but oh well, I had to finish. So so anyways, there's that. Moving along to the last two things I have. They're small. They are just a couple of little Christmas tree ornaments. Here's one. This is actually a Christmas tree. It's a free pattern called Christmas Tree on Ravelry. This is some yarn that I dyed a couple years ago um, in a class that I took. I think these were on size 5. I think these were on size 5 needles. Whipped up really quick. It took me 20 minutes from start to finish, and that includes weaving in the ends. And I did block it out a little bit. By blocking, I should say, I soaked it and then just laid it down and let it dry just, just to make it lay a little bit more nicely because a couple of the corners wanted to curl a little bit. So there's that. My second one is this cute little mini hat. Let's see if I can poof it out here a little bit. 
miniature hat. This took a little more than, than 20 minutes because it is a little more finicky when there's lace weight yarn on size ones. The pattern calls for size twos and fingering weight, but I had this left over. This is some Indigo Dragonfly MCN lace that, that I had left over from a shawl. So I wanted to make that. The kids are loving these. I think what I'll do is probably find a mini stocking and make one of those so that each of the kids can kind of have their own miniature. And right now they have them hanging on the the thumbtack that is holding their chore charts on the wall. But I think when we go to my dad's house for Christmas, I'll let them hang them on the tree because that's we don't have a tree here, like I said, because we do Christmas at my dad's house. So we'll hang them up over there and um, they, they're really enjoying those. Oh, and this is, the mini hat is called Mini Hat Christmas Ornament. That's the name of the pattern. And it took 18 whole yards. So, so it's a great way if you have those little bits you left over after socks and things like that. You could actually, it would be, I would probably be really cute to make like a garland out of them as well. So anyway, maybe I'll make some of those next year before Christmas. You know, before the week before Christmas. So... Moving right along, I have no spinning this week. Haven't even thought about it. Haven't touched it. Nothing. That will come back, you know, probably in the new year. Uh, I, I do have a few things that I really want to spin up. And I have some things I want to buy, but I want to get rid of some stuff first. So moving past that, since there's nothing to talk about, I want to talk about my Dierste shawl. If you were wondering how to pronounce it when you saw all the letters put together, it looked like die <laughs> It's It's actually Afrikaans for the first. This is my first shawl design, and I wanted to reflect that in the name. And the first in English just sounds dumb. So I, I looked it up in Afrikaans and liked how it sounded. And I tried to put it phonetically on the pattern page so that when you saw the words, you didn't go, wait, what? So it's Dierste. I'm going to stand up here so you can see the pattern. It has been test knit. I had about 12 test knitters. Some of them did the small size. Some of them did the full, full size shawl. This pattern, what's great about it is it can use any amount of yarn from 330 yards all the way up to 730 yards. Because of the edging that I used, you can you can stop at any time. And you can also use any yarn, solid, semi-solid, tonal, and variegated. I know how hard it is to find a shawl pattern for variegated yarn that isn't just garter or stockinette with a few little, you know, a, just maybe an eyelet row, which that's kind of what this is, but it does have it does have the chevron shaping. Sorry, I got some fiber on my nose. So that's that's one of the really unique things about this shawl is that it uses so many different amounts of yarn and so many different types of, of colors of yarn. <laughs> anyway, please go check out the pattern page. One of my test knitters actually put in a couple of stripes of contrasting yarn and when she posted the picture I couldn't believe that it was my pattern. I, 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 my jaw literally dropped and I posted on the thread and then I messaged her and then I left a comment on her project page because I just, I was blown away and I got her permission to use her picture, a couple of her pictures on the pattern page as well to show the options. One of the things that I thought would be fun if you shop, <clears throat> excuse me, if you shop at the Loopy U, they have their new seasonings series. And I think that would be a great use of those because it's she has a 400 yard skein, regular skein, and then a single color skein with 100 yards. And so you could put in a couple of, of repeat, you know, throw in a couple of stripes anywhere you want, and it would look really good. <clears throat> and the colors are already put together for you. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm going to take a drink here. <clears throat> So anyway, that's the Dierste pattern. I have one on the needles right now that will go back into rotation <clears throat> because this full-size one on me doesn't 
really fit. I'm, I just, my frame is too small and I don't have anything in the upper region to fill it out. So I will possibly end up gifting this in the future. The yarn that I used is by the Sassy Sheep. It's my most favorite color that they make. It's called Tropics. Here it is again. My lighting is, there we go. Let's see. There we go. Ah, it's reflecting plenty for some reason. Maybe if I sneak it in at the bottom of the screen. There we go. I love these colors. They do a great job. But like I said, a lot of different colors will work. And the one that I have on the needles right now is a merino silk blend that's going to be awesome. And it's going to be the shawlette version. <clears throat> so then I'll actually be able to wear it. Um, I think that's all I have for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I think that's all I have for you today. This is a much shorter episode than last week, but expect next week to be nice and long because I'll have a bazillion things on the needles. I'm I'm itching. My fingers are itching to start things that I don't have to make. Uh, the sweater I didn't have to make, but I had to finish by the deadline in order to be entered into the drawing for the for the prizes, and the scarf I obviously had to finish by Christmas. Um, the sock I don't mind so much, I always have one of those on the needles. So anyways, I expect to cast on one, possibly two things just today. So expect next week to have much more knitting content and maybe some spinning. Maybe I'll do some drop spinning. I don't know. We'll see. But until then, have a great week. Good luck getting all of your Christmas knitting done. You have a week from today to have um, to have it done by Christmas Eve, so you can wrap it on Christmas uh, wrap it on Christmas Eve and, and give it on Christmas Day. So until next time, keep knitting. Bye. <laughs>